hi guys what is this hi and welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would do a little update for you guys um it's been a while since i've started my bbl <clears throat> not gonna lie i was off track for like three or four weeks um we took our final exams and kind of went a little crazy i was ordering out um I think that's like the first time in a long time I've had pizza here. I was eating like my favorite tofu and rice. Like none of it was like super bad, but I just like, <clears throat> I wasn't cooking. And so I hate when I don't cook. There's like a lot of extra like oils and butters and weird seasonings. And then I eat too much. Like it's just a lot. So, um, I didn't blow up though. Like I thought, I mean, I obviously wasn't as lean as I wish I was. But I'm going to tell you some things I did so that I didn't gain a whole bunch of weight back. Here we go. So the first thing that I did, which I always do, is I am an intuitive eater. Um, and let me just say, if you are someone who's trying to lose weight, do not, <clears throat> do not go off of intuitive eating. You need to be tracking every single thing that you put in your mouth because obviously you're eating too much or not working out enough which means that you you can't intuitively eat so uh, for me intuitive eating is um i eat until i'm satisfied and i can i have those like hunger or those sa satiety satiety signals <laughs> satiety i can't pronounce it but i think you know what i'm trying to say um feelings of being full signals and then I stop eating. I never overeat. Um, so that's intuitive eating. I eat when I'm hungry and I stop when I'm full. Like period. So that's something that really helped me. Another thing is rest days. I never used to take rest days and it was like really detrimental to my goals and everything. So I started taking rest days as well. So I'd do like one day on, one day off, or I'd like take off two days, usually not in a row, but that's been super helpful. Um, and water, drinking water all the time. I like when I said I was not doing well for these past like three weeks. I wasn't drinking enough water and I noticed I was getting headaches and things so that was also always really important especially eating out and like not really knowing what's in it they add like a whole bunch of sodium and oils and all that stuff so it's good to keep drinking your water and stretching so um, on my days off I love yoga so I'd wake up in the morning roll out my mat right here and hop on the mat and do yoga I just YouTube 30 minute yoga, 20 minute yoga, however much time I had, that's the yoga that I would do. So the things that helped me not gain all the weight back, um, intuitive eating, rest days, water, stretching, slash yoga. So that's that little update. Okay, so now that I'm back on track, I really started like this week, this past week is Sunday right now. So this whole week I cooked last weekend, I made some soup. And then I went grocery shopping, so I had like a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables, and I still have that now. Um, and so I've been cooking and bringing that to school every day. So now that I'm back on track, what are my new goals? Um, I'm looking down because I wrote them down. Um, I have like about one week left, a week of school left, and then like three days, and then I take my exam, and then I leave. Like I go home next week, like. And then all the extra videos were coming, like cleaning up all this room and like packing everything. I'm so excited. And my parents are coming. So anyway, so my new goals, honestly, for the this year, like to end out the year, I just want to, I don't know, I guess like maintain where I'm at. I know that I'm not going to be like super lean and like losing a whole bunch of weight because when my parents get here, we're going to stay in a hotel together. And we're going to be eating out and I'm going to be drinking and like living my life, enjoying my life. Um... And I'd rather do that than like be super strict about it. Obviously, I don't want to gain weight, so I'm gonna. I'll take you guys along and like how to, how to navigate that. Um, and I have so many recipes that I want to make when I get home, like cinnamon rolls, and what else do I want to make? Candy apples, and like I have so many ideas. So, um, really, just trying to maintain where I'm at right now. Um, I am. Like, you can see in my body, I haven't gained a whole bunch of weight, but, like, I feel like I'm a little soft, like, a little jiggly. Um, I can tell you guys, too, in, like, some videos, like, I worked out today, and you can see it. Stuff like that that I really want to get rid of, but 
I mean, I know that holidays are coming and um, yeah, I'm not gonna be super hard on myself. Balance. Um, okay, so how do I feel right now? Uh, I feel really good. I feel energetic, um, especially since I've been cooking my own food and eating here. I can really track, am I eating enough? Am I eating too much? Am I drinking enough water? Um, all that stuff, which is so helpful. So uh, I feel really good right now. Um, I wrote down here, I feel 100% better when I cook and 100% better when I drink a gallon of water. I did notice, like I said a little bit earlier, that when I do not drink a gallon of water, I get headaches. Like my body needs it now. So making sure I need, drink enough water is like essential to my life. And I feel like a different person. Like I was feeling like lethargic and like weighed down um, with all the like takeout and stuff I was eating. Um, obviously it tasted delicious, but like that, that phase needed to end. <laughs> um, and I'm glad it did because I feel like lighter and more energetic um okay so i kind of wanted to tell you since i have like a week left what's left in my fridge so right now i or not in my fridge like i guess in my life right now i'm kind of like i don't think i need to go to the store again unless it's something essential that i can eat quickly um but right now i have tofu i have tempeh i have two things of tofu so i need to cook that like today uh i have tempeh for um blts I have a lot of oats, I have pretzels, I have protein shakes, I have fruits and vegetables, like really random fruits and vegetables, um, and rice, and then I have no idea what's in that little container thing. And I have like a whole new thing of ketchup, like why did I buy that? I have no idea. Because fries are life, that's why. <laughs> Bad Sarah. But yeah, so, oh, and I have stuff to make smoothies, so I have a ton of frozen fruit, I have frozen bananas um and spinach i'll be making a lot of smoothies um before i leave yeah like i don't really i don't know what i'm gonna do as far as food i'm gonna try to eat everything um which is gonna probably turn into some really awkward meals but i don't want to leave anything behind i don't want to throw anything away so that's what we're gonna do um next we're just gonna do like a whole life update right now Sorry, my hair is like super heavy right now because I just got out of the shower and I washed it because I want to leave these braids in. Let's start with the life update right now. Um, I want to leave these braids in until my parents get here um, because we all know that dealing with curly hair sometimes it like takes a lot out of you, especially in the morning. I like to get up and go. So um, I'm just going to leave these braids in until after my exam and then I'll take them out and like rock the curls for a bit um so there's that also like i said earlier i need to pack everything in this room i've got clothes everywhere i've got um i don't even know there's like food i've got like a tapestry like a million books i'll do like a uh what's that called like a b-roll so you guys can see everything that i have in my room all of my drawers under my sink are full um i'm supposed to be telling my mom how many <laughs> suitcases i have under my bed um so that she can bring like whatever i need down here so that we can take everything back like in one fail soup um because if it's not going with us it's getting left here sold or just donated um so that i need to do organizing my life so like i said i have one more exam coming up so i need to like do questions and prepare for that which i've been doing for the last like i don't know like five weeks um and then one last thing before i leave i'm trying to enjoy the island as much as possible which is obviously kind of difficult to balance right now since i'm like since i'm studying for this test and like everything is focused on that um but i only have like a little bit of time to pack everything and then like actually have fun while my parents are here um because they're getting in on thursday and then we pack up and leave on a sunday so um yeah, I feel like I was like blabbing that entire time, <laughs> like super fast. So basically I was like all way off track for a couple weeks there. Um, now I'm back on track and then it's gonna get a little rocky here when my parents come and after this exam and like move home and, um, but like it's a really exciting time and I'm very happy. Um, I've been here for three years. 
and it's definitely time i'm ready to go home not ready to be cold but i'm ready to go um so yeah and obviously i'll show you what my body looks like i probably showed it in the beginning but i can also show it at the end um and yeah if you guys have any questions about life or what i'm doing um let me know i don't even think i said this but i'm training i think i'm still doing one day on one day off and on my days off i do stretching or yoga so i'm not ever like completely sedentary so it's like active rest day is what i'm doing um so yeah i think that's it for the update and if you guys have any questions obviously please do not hesitate to ask and i'll see you in my next video Thank <laughs> you.